And your mother is magically beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is! My mother really is magically beautiful. So, thanks a lot, Pedro, because that shit is suitable. <laughs> I was over here champing my cuticles trying to think about what my raps would actually do to you. Yo, they wouldn't do nothing, it's true cousin, you cousin. Yo, yo, your mother eats a blue muffin. Yo, 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 I'd be on the true buzzing, taking too much truffles. You'd be in too much trouble. Yo, a blue, I, I do this cousin. <laughs> This is the first battle of our first ever affiliate event. I'm sure it's the first of many. Straight into battle. MC on my right hand side, Dave UMC for Don't Fall. We have JR Skyrim. Make some noise. Let's go. Don't flop all fucking day. Don't know. Don't know. And MC on my left hand side, another day. You second MC on the day. You've got celebrity cell. Make some noise. Let's go. Yeah. Celebrity, celebrity cell. Y'all hear me? Yeah. 413. First time in Philly. First time in Don't Flop. Show me some love. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool, yeah, we've been in London, Philly, London, 24 hours, man, it's been fucking great so far. Uh, we flipped off camera, Jay, your first round? Okay, okay first round, I'm going for Philly, so I'm going to do celebrity cell, let's go, round one. Let's go! I said, this is my first time in Philly. My first time, don't flop. But that's not even why I'm hyped now, folks. Because this is the first battle ever where I could never possibly hear an eyebrow joke. <laughs> I said, I hate your fucking fist, JR. I am not even fucking kidding. You know why? Because I told him it took me five hours to get here. He was like, yeah, 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 you're about an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> that means five hours ago when you were watching Pornhub beating off in your mother's kitchen, I was fucking flipping because Google Maps told me to take an exit late and I fucking missed it. <laughs> then I saw a space in the median on the highway. That was my chance, so I fucking hit it. <laughs> Looked in the rear view, woo! Got a fucking ticket. <laughs> And a plane flew by with a banner like you should have just bought a fucking ticket. <laughs> so I don't even want to battle you, JR. I've had such a bad day, I just need this crowd to fucking listen. Yeah, yeah. I am not leaving until I give that Philly bitch some of this hard dick and bubble wishes. <laughs> fuck it. Who the fuck are you? This man is tripping. He can't even get in the king of the dot because him and organic bitches. When he told me about it, his hands were twitching. He damn near had an aneurysm. That's how I know it's not beef, because you won't even say it to organic chicken. Let's go, Sam. Right? Yo, Er, where you at? If you pay us any money, I will beat you up, because that would be a waste of dough. Like, you ordered a pizza, but you didn't eat the crust. This is word to McDonald's. Word to McDonald's, chicken McNuggets. I will piece you up. I know you probably brought a lot of jokes, JR, but that won't be enough. And I know Uno probably put some good weed in his burrito ducks. <laughs> but the day you beat me, it'll be the same day Daylight gets his 30 Gs from Lux. Or he gets a retweet from Lux. <laughs> So keep my name out your mouth with that hating shit. Only person allowed to come with me sideways pussy is an Asian bitch. <laughs> when I first met JR, he goes, my best friend to know Alamos. It was gay as shit. <laughs> and no one asked him, so I didn't even understand why he was saying it. But it made me sick, it made me think in turn about their relationship. <laughs> then I thought, if Uno eats a meal, JR makes the shit. Filet a fish, steak with tips, he won't eat lace, so he makes homemade potato chips, he even brings the queso dip. For dessert, there's danishes, cake and shit. If there's, if there's a party in Uno's pants, he would cater it. <laughs> Uno listens to Jay and Miss JR switches to Taylor Swift. Whoa. Uno wants to break up, JR wants to see a therapist, JR wants to have the kid, Uno's hoping he miscarries it. <laughs> I know right now Uno's like, it's so fucking embarrassing, and JR wants to come back and mask because it's legal for gay marriages. Oh. Y'all are fucking crazy if you're thinking he's the best, because when I got in Philly, I seen him outside of CVS doing the PG stuff. <laughs> I said, enough, I feel like Uno wrote your bars and something just ain't right. I'm gonna take a shit on this stage and call it a day. Round two, let's go. Yo! Yo! Here's 
He was he was talking about his drive out here. I figured that's cool. He might as well. He said he got a ticket. How, bro? You're fucking white as hell. <laughs> Yo, it's great to be back in Philadelphia. Welcome to the show, don't flop. But this is where the promo stops. Left hand, throw a shot. But you can get this one for free like a BOGO spot. So get your cameras ready, popcorn out. Here's your chance for a photo op, because this is about to be a fucking classic battle. No, it's not. <laughs> Besides paying for your opponents, what exactly have you done so far? Lex Luthor suggested you, sir, and that's the entire reason you're on the undercard. The fucked up part is now I gotta write a bunch of bars explaining to everyone who the fuck you are. <laughs> Where'd you get the name Celebrity Cell anyway? Bro, I've been dying to find out. Cause cells are known for having bars. You're more like Celebrity Timeout. <laughs> now you're Italian, but you look like you could be Korean and white because your eyes are closed in such a way that they're impeding your sight. I bet you sprinkle Parmesan cheese when you're eating your rice and you know the exact square root of fucking beating your wife. <laughs> <laughs> during a 4-1-3 title match. You should have stood there and fought like a man. How are you Italian? And I gotta teach you how to talk with your hands. Oh. But shit, yo, but shit, I'm a Paisan too. So I tell him to break a leg, but for you, I can offer assurance. Should I woke up this morning and got myself a gun to turn his son to an orphan? Your last battles were a draw, a loss, and a forfeit. I'm Tony Soprano. He's Ralph Cicaretto, because y'all gonna end up chopping up his body if he come with that horse shit. Oh. See, you was a leg, and you ain't got the tools to take to battle me. It's the 29th of March is made to mark the day that you became a casualty. Getting hit with a cyclone, but think of an iPhone, because you're gonna watch Cell die, and there's nothing you can do to change the battery. But I gotta put on the show that'll prove that I've been a boss and I'm gonna need extra energy so I can win, of course. He took my fucking drink. Because the Red Bull never lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, round two on Celebrity Cell. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yo, I love this battle rap shit. I just hate all the fucking double standards here. So let's say I lose, which I would never to Mr. fucking JR Slander here. I need everybody in this room to understand me clearly. Worst case scenario is I go home, lose no sleep, have a beautiful family, and make a hundred grand a year. That was ignorant, but it's true. I said, I don't find you a bit impressive, so the fact I drove five hours to battle you is a bit depressing. Everybody says this kid's aggressive, but I don't believe a motherfucking word they say for a millisecond. You are a punk pussy bitch. Detective, do you get the message? He's from Jersey. When was the last time you've been to Newark? The last time you took a trip to Trenton. And you act like your boy Uno is some sort of fucking Philly legend. If he told you to toss a salad, you run to the fridge and get the dressing. I was with his bitch in the hot tub. It was my dick that the chick was sweating, so I pulled out. Kids in the water. That's a swimming lesson. than your hairline, and that is some G-shit. <laughs> said, my eyebrows say I'm Italian, but yours tell me that your dad is from Egypt. <laughs> he just took a second look like, you're gonna laugh when you see this. You just look like you went to Hitman Hollis Barber and asked for the remix. <laughs> yeah. I said, yo, if you grew that shit out, it would be a rap one. <laughs> Nothing in the middle, yo, you couldn't even pat it down. <laughs> you are such a faggot clown, even your best friend wants to laugh out loud. See, what we have here is a classic game of cat and mouse. This is not the rookie version of Mayweather versus Pacquiao. This is a trained pit bull blacking out on a basset hat. <laughs> you gotta be smiling all fucking night. You have nothing to be mad about. I battle DNA, City Tower Scream. I even backed out my third through half the round, plus I sell Hyundais. What more could you have to rap about? <laughs> That's about it. All I can do is watch his nine battles in eight states, and there's really nothing to fucking brag about. You got 20 of them in eight states, there's nothing to fucking brag about. <laughs> so I couldn't even go through half of a round without shit without passing out, but I attributed it to a long work week and smoking Cali Loud. To be honest, this battle, when I woke up at fucking 6.30, I was like, I'm back now. <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up at 6.30, I was like, yo, fuck this shit, I'm backing out. And it's not because you suck and your career has nothing to rap about, it's because I thought if I drive five hours and Herb doesn't put this battle out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Biden will fucking be spazzing out. <laughs> and what you need to do is stop bringing up my past accounts, because all the shit that happened in the past, that doesn't matter now. It's me and you, JR, and you're only as good as your last three rounds. Ooh! Yeah, say that! Right? Say that! So what these battle leagues need to do is stop letting Uno stand beside you and gash your rounds. Because if you subtract him out and rewatch his battles, you wouldn't even know what the fucking crowd was laughing about, and all of his opponents are on rematches now. <laughs> And I feel that I said that all of his opponents are want rematches now. That's round two, man. Let's go. Right. Round two on JR. Let's go. Yo. Yo. There's a lot of politics in this game, and certain battlers are suffering because of them. Favoritism has plagued the system, so even if they're hustling, certain leagues just wouldn't fuck with them. Some people have worked their ass off for this opportunity that's in front of them. Now, with all that being said, Celebrity Cell is not one of them. Oh! Yo. Yo, now I'm not claiming to be the best. Big battles are something I'm kind of new to. And I ain't saying that I'm the greatest, I'm just letting y'all know who's who. He paid for a battle with DNA. A guy that averages 500,000 right, hits on YouTube, and your battle with him got 30,000. That makes you a negative 470,000 view dude. <laughs> Yo, you're a salesperson at Haddad Hyundai. They should have never let him through the interview. I can't think of anything more reckless than selling cars that simultaneously fund terrorism and Kim, Kim Jong-il's war efforts. Yo, so if you see ARs, you don't even have to pay that much for them. You think Erg's got a bad accent? This dude sells a ton of them. crazy on her. I never thought that that thought could twerk. I've been smashing his Hyundai. Should I gave that bitch body work? Damn. You, need, you need to stick the garden stock in the parking lot. You're a mark and on top of that your market's dropping. Then I carve his top like a barber shop and then look for a new spot like I'm apartment shopping. Mm. You're garbage jocking, your bars are slopping. It's gonna be hard to not think your heart is stopping. Who cares if you drive an Elantra? Your image is so nada. You're a carbon copy. Yeah. Bitch, even your fucking carbon copy. Yeah. See, I'm better at this. You never has been and you don't like facing it, do you? This celebrity deathmatch, I built this lame out of clay and I've been aching to school you. Whoa! Crazy murder spree. No, LASIK surgery. I'm just taking the time out to start shaping my pupil. Thank you! Let's go, man. He said I quit in my third round against Sick in the 413 Battle League. And it's true. And I wish it wasn't. I just hate it, y'all. I even called up the dude on YouTube. I was like, how the fuck do I get this taken off? <laughs> <laughs> but talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Because when I watched you first got awful, there was something he was saying, dog. He said, y'all were supposed to battle before that. And you hit up Logic a day before with that late Jake from State Farm call, and you had the famous call. <laughs> right? I think that's what he said, right? And then. Udo showed up and choked every round. Way to leave him hanging, dog. I think, you, I think you know where I'm going. I think you know what I'm saying, John. I might have backed out in the third, but at least I showed up to take the loss. Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ! Get out of here. JR hit up Dean Rome before the battle. He was like, we gotta stick together, because as far as white people on this car, we're the only ones, y'all. <laughs> then there was an awkward silence, and I said, what about Rosenberg Raw? <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> you contradict yourself all the time. You want an example? Give me a fucking second. Um, when him and Uno go both ways, they listen to one direction. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, right? I thought that was like, instead of coming here, you might as well just lay face flat and tie yourself to train tracks. I know you rep ADHD and face off Battle League, and I can't even hate that, but your hairline does, because that battle's in eight. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, that shit is pushed way back. Are you sure that it ain't smack? <laughs> Looked like in his eighth grade class, he was like, hey, Dad, for the rest of my life, can I wear a wig again? <laughs> When he goes to Domino's, he orders meat lovers. <laughs> I said, what you Alright, I'm gonna stop that. I said, when he goes to Domino's, he orders meat lovers. I said, oh, and as far as work, I, I hope you took off more than a week, fucker, because you're gonna need more than that to recover on that fucking sleep number. <laughs> He's burnt so many bridges. I'm talking, king of the die. I battle. Just because you want to be stubborn? When he's homeless in 10 years, he'll have no bridge to sleep under. Wow. Let's go. Third round of J.I. Slanger. Go. This dude talked about my sneakers, but he showed up looking homeless. That's because he spends all his time selling Hyundais, writing bars, and getting focused so he can hang those new Jordans next to his eviction notice. <laughs> By the way. I, I heard you missed your son's birthday party to be here. I happen to think that that's so sad. It was yesterday. What'd you get your kid for his birthday? No dad? <laughs> See, with his son, he's always missing all the occasions. Y'all are better off as neighbors. He'll show, he'll show up at 3 a.m. and then he'll claim he lost his pager. When he carries the chat, the kid is scared to act like he's the Boston Strangler, and that's ever since his mother taught him not to talk to strangers. Mm. Yo, and you're out here buying battles? You should be putting food on the table where you both live. Instead, you paid for DNA. Bro, you should have done that shit with your own kid. <laughs> I mean, if I was him, I'd be mad as shit. Like, damn, the kid must have felt like he got pretty low on Santa's list when all he got for Christmas was bad memories and abandonment. In retrospect, Zach, in retrospect, Zach, that probably wasn't the best present. But you can tell your bitch the next time that she gets pregnant, that shit is a death sentence. I will uppercut that fucking slut down the stairway to heaven while listening to Led Zeppelin. Hey, yo, let me tell you something that you don't know. Your boy Sal, he's in love with the go go Those whole shit is got his whole brain looking like a snow globe. Bro. bro, you're a broke parent with a coke habit. That's how you want to live your life fine, but it's kind of like your battle career. Because you got to break out your credit card when it's time to do your little white lines. You see, if you carried yourself with some dignity and respect, your own people would support you and that holds true. I guess there's no I in integrity, right? Yes, there is. Oh shit, correction, there's no you. <laughs> The track of this whole scene. The event was packed to the rafters and back to the nosebleeds. His opponent wrapped up with passion. He was half assing the whole thing. His coward quit after two rounds and said he was finished with rap to his fans and his home team. Now it's ironic that I haven't looked at him this whole scheme, and, it's, and the fact is, it's symbolic, but what does it actually all mean? I just did it to demonstrate how you left the game and turned your back on your whole league. Yes. Yes. Let's go, man. Make some noise for that battle, right quick. So now she's very seldom falling for ballers So it's gonna take more than to be on an NBA roster to call I'm talking bachelor pad with a match and agree with a couple Lofty endeavors which happen to be showing the things are different An aberration from the mesh she distant More like a 